In today's episode, I'm going to tell you why you can't hike the Inca Trail on your own, and I'll also tell you what other alternatives exist if you still want to tackle the region solo. Now first off is the Inca Trail. You can't hike the Inca Trail on your own. It just wouldn't be reasonable. There's too much at stake. There's a lot of historical significance, and we don't need somebody running out there with a rock or a stone and carving something of their own personal motivation into the wall. We want to keep everything safe. And this is done by having legitimate guides and travel agencies regulated and being the only ones that are allowed on the trail itself. Second reason is to stimulate economy. We want to definitely make sure that there are people in the area that get paid or, or experience some of the benefits of external tourism. And that's done by employing locals and such to get them to be porters and to allow them to take your stuff around the area. It is, it's a reasonable thing to do as well. And then the last as well is cleanliness. You certainly don't want people running out there and getting drunk on the trail or um, you know, leaving toilet paper all over the place or you know, maybe there'd be other, even other things like vandalism or violence, other things that would just otherwise happen if it was an unregulated area. Now you can still buy beer on the trail and these are done at some of the little stations along the way, but other than that, people aren't throwing bonfire parties. But anyway, you'll always need a tour guide if you want to travel the Inca Trail. An alternative to the Inca Trail would be the Salkin Tai Trail. The Salkin Tai Trail has a few benefits. The other one, or one of most being it's not the Inca Trail, and it still ends up at Machu Picchu. Now, the Salkin Tai Trail also has a benefit at the beginning. You'll be able to hike past Lake Umantai. Umantai is at the base of Salkin Tai Mountain. The mountains were revered by the Incan people. And Umantai itself is a wonderful, gorgeous lake that we had the fortune to go visit or visit on our own without actually hiking the Salkantai Trail. Salkantai Trail still has a good amount of elevation climbing. You're still hiking through the Andes. It's got wonderful views. Uh, and like I said, it's the only other one that's actually going to take you to Machu Picchu. Last on the list right now is the Chococero Trail. The Chococero Trail takes about six days in total, and it's a very, very isolated trail. Now, that being said, uh, some of the isolation gives it some beauty. It has a lot of wonderful views as you take the trip. Usually it's a two-day entry and then about four days on the trail itself once you leave Choco Quiero. But beyond that, uh, if you want to see a couple of other videos of some people doing it, we haven't done it ourselves, but I know Craig Adams has done it and he had a wonderful little video and we'll definitely put it up in the description. Two other trails that you'll have the opportunity to hike if you want to see the Andes will be the Vilcabamba Trail and the Laris Trail. Now again, the only two trails that actually make it to Machu Picchu are the Inca Trail and the Salkantai Trail. Other than that, we've mentioned Choco Quiero, and then like we said, Vilcabamba and Larius Trail. These trails themselves also have their own ups and downs. They have other sites they're going to see, and you're going to be captivated no matter where you go. But you still have to look out for accessibility. And the, the downsides to the Inca Trail are that it's just so populated. It's a touristy area. And the trail itself is heavily traveled as a result of that. You'll have to plan very far in advance if you want to book these. As we start getting Salk and Tai, you'll still have a reasonable number of people on Salk and Tai, and then Choco Quiero, Vilcabamba Lares are going to be less populated and allow you to still see the area. Perhaps if you get there and you didn't book ahead or you didn't have the opportunity, there's still plenty to see in the area. So do go look up these trails, and I'm sure you'll find something wonderful on them. We haven't done them ourselves yet, but we've only been to Peru once also. So maybe next time. So that ends our short little episode on why you can't hike the Inca Trail on your own, what other alternatives you might have in the event that you can't get to uh, the Inca Trail, but you happen to be in Peru. And if you like this video, leave some comments below, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you on your next adventure.